Hello and welcome to this course. This course is all about Patreon. My name is Emma and I've spent the last year learning all kinds of tips and tricks for Patreon. I've built up my Patreon from nothing to around $800 per month and I realistically only spend about two or three hours I'd say per week on my Patreon so it's definitely worth doing. I'm now a full-time blogger and YouTuber and I couldn't have done that without Patreon. Patreon definitely isn't for everybody but it is for a good number of people. People. So in this course, we're going to go through what Patreon is, how you get Patreons, how you keep Patreons, what you should give them, and everything you need to set up and run a Patreon page. If you don't know what Patreon is, Patreon is a website that makes it possible for your audience to support you as a creator. The people in your audience will donate a certain amount of money per month or per year, and in return you'll give them exclusive content that isn't on the rest of the internet. So they feel special, they've got their special content, and you have an amount of money. Patreon is very similar to the way that people subscribe to a streaming service, they subscribe to a magazine on a monthly basis, they can cancel at any time, but basically what they're doing is they're giving you a small donation to support you because they like the work that you're doing. You'll find a lot of YouTubers on Patreon, you'll also find people who are musicians, artists, basically anything where you create something and somebody wants to support you so that you can carry on creating that thing. There are of course massive financial benefits to having a Patreon, but I've found that it is so much more than that. I initially started my Patreon as a way to make a bit of extra money. I didn't really think that many people would join it, but the thing that surprised me most was how well I got to know my Patreons. It really feels to me like I have a little pit crew and I'm the car and then they stop and they help me with things. It's really, really nice to have that group of super fans, as Pat Flynn would call them, who just care about you and care about the progress that you're making on your channel or your blog or whatever you're doing. There's definitely real benefits too to having a group of fans that you can talk to. I'll often run ideas past my group of Patreons and say, do you think I should make a video on this? What thumbnail should I choose, etc, etc? What are you worrying about? What do I need to make? And it just gives me a piece of the internet where I can go for just genuine support, not to mention that it's incredibly encouraging to have these people behind you who care enough about what you're doing to support you with money. It still blows my mind a little bit that people do that, but there's so many nice people out there that genuinely just want to give something back. If you look at it from their perspective, they've been enjoying free YouTube content, free blog content for years, and to them, giving you $5 per month, it's really worth it. Patreon itself is a website that's completely free to join up on, but because it's free, they do take a percentage of the amount that goes through Patreon. They take 8% of the money that people donate, which compared to other platforms, 8% really isn't that bad. And then there is a processing fee. Processing fee does depend on the currency, but it's around 3%. If you just imagine that Patreon are going to take away roughly 10% of what is donated, which I really don't think is too bad when you realise that Patreon is free to use, they handle all of the payments, if a payment fails they will chase it, they will do all of the currency conversions, they will do all of the customer service, they do everything, you don't have to worry about any of that back end stuff. Patreon do have a more premium plan and on that premium plan they charge you a bit more but it allows you to do physical merchandise through Patreon, I haven't done that, I've stuck with the free version and it's been more than perfect. Couldn't ask for any more. I would say that the majority of donations made on Patreon are made on a monthly basis. One thing that they've added recently is that you can pay per year. So if you have a look here at my income from Patreon, there's a couple of months where it looks like I've earned loads of money and that's basically where people have decided to pay up front for the year. My Patreon is set up so that people get two months for free if they pay for a year in advance. So they pay for 10 months and they get a full year and that's why I have these spikes. But even if we ignore these spikes on this graph, my Patreon is happily trending upwards, which I'm really, really happy with. It's been the best thing I've done for my business in a long time. I have to admit, I initially had some reservations about Patreon and I put off starting it for a long time. I was worried that it would be seen as being greedy, but I don't feel as though I'm asking for money because I'm selling a thing. I'm selling behind the scenes content, I'm selling extra stuff, and I make a point to tell my audience that everything you see on YouTube, my website, my social media accounts, that's free forever. But if you want something extra, you can buy it. 
it's strange, I have spoken to my Patreons about this because they know it better than me, and some of them have described it as my Patreon is me letting them give me money. They want to give me money, but before they had no way, and when I created Patreon, I let them give me money. It does take a while to get your head around that, but some people are genuinely just really nice and want to see you succeed. Another option for Patreon that I don't do but I've seen other people do is that you can, instead of charging per month, you can charge per thing. So if you're somebody who's say an artist or a musician, you could charge people per song that you release. I don't like doing that because it means that Patreons don't know how much they're going to be charged per month and I would prefer that up front they can just see how much this is going to cost but that does work really well for certain people. If you're a blogger or a YouTuber I would recommend you stick with the just pay monthly because it's easy easy peasy. For me Patreon has been well worth it not just for the financial benefits but also just because I've been able to get to know my audience and they help me with so many things. Of course Patreon isn't the only website where you can do this type of thing and we will talk more about the alternatives in the next video so I'll see you there in a minute.